I just saw this sword, and that sword is ridiculous. Dude, Dude that is insane. We are gonna start giving these away. What's up YouTube? How awesome was the last vlog with surprising the big dog with a big dog? I mean, that was so cool. He's actually gonna come over today and he already picked out a name, which I love the name. The name is so freaking awesome. But also today we are going to Superior Shipping Supply to go meet up with Mark and Scott and they actually have the sword completely finished now. So I can show you guys all of the sword, which I'm excited about. I mean, dude, it's a one of a kind sword. They made 10 of them and 10 of you guys are gonna get one of those. So make sure you guys go follow Campfire Arts on their Instagram and go check out their website information right here and on the description down below and always guys make sure you guys go check out superior shipping supply for all your shipping needs and all of your bags your deli cups i mean you name it everything you need for ball pythons and any other reptiles best place to get their stuff from so we're going to go over there and check out the sword and then we're going to come back and check on jesse like i said he already has a snake jesse already has a name picked out for the dog which i hear to tell me about it and i love it man again big shout out to dark dynasty they have the coolest dogs biggest dogs for sure and then we're going to check out some awesome snakes that i picked up from matt byram exotics and it's been a great great Day. It's been an awesome morning, so let's get to it. All right, so we're here. Let's go check out this sword. I know you guys are excited because I am. Oh man, did I catch you guys all that break? Oh, it's it's so so <laughs> all right, guys. So I just saw this sword, and that sword is ridiculous, man. I mean, dude, the detail on that thing is seriously amazing. Besides the swords, Mark and Sky actually came up with something else that you guys are, I mean, that's even bigger than that. I mean, literally, size wise. I'm gonna keep you guys posting that, but man, you seriously, these guys are amazing. Make sure you guys go follow them. All right, so we're back over here at the teriyaki place. This time we're going a little lighter, especially I had a lot of rice last time. You guys are just putting some weight on me, man. But Trying yeah, <laughs> winter's <laughs> coming. After this, guys, we're gonna go check out that sword. All right, guys, so it's time to show off this sword. I know I've been talking a lot about it, but it's time. What we're gonna do right now is Mark's actually gonna set it up right now to see how these things mount up. And then we're gonna show the reveal and make sure, guys, go give him a follow. You do not wanna miss. There's only gonna be 10 of them. So chances are a lot better of getting one than, you know, when I do a snake giveaway, that's only one to all of you guys. So, all right, here we go. Scott, were you like talking and not like texting? Huh? All right, guys, and this is how you mount the sword. But before we show you how, well, actually, before Mark shows you how to mount it, let's check this thing out. And look at the fine detail on this sword, man. Look at those ball pythons. You got Medusa looking all pretty. And man, check this out. The handle right here, look at all the scales. I mean, do some custom work, man. Mark, this is seriously amazing, dude. I mean, Thank some you. cool Thank stuff. Man. I can't believe you're gonna give 10 of them away. That's just That's insane. Right. So how do these things mount on the wall? So each sword Oh, yeah, has... I forgot, forgot this. No, there you go. Each sword, we embed magnets into the blade. They come with a mounting kit. And literally, when you mount the um, blocks on the wall, it just goes like this. And Dude, your that sword is, is displayed. insane. Wow. We can make it look cool. Yeah. And then go Dude. take it down, check it out. It just comes down. That is so sick. Scott, what do you think, man? I love it. That is amazing. Mark, seriously, man, thank you guys again so much, man. Like, seriously, I say it all the time, but you guys are seriously amazing people, Our pleasure, man. dude. We love working with you, man. You're a good friend and a great company. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who I like more now, man. First, I was kind of like going towards Scott a little bit, but you know, it's kind of like, you know. Once you get to know Scott, you like everyone else better. <laughs> well, I'm back at home, and before we get into details and how you could win one of these awesome swords, one of a kind swords, one of a kind out of 10, right? Yeah, one out of 10. Yeah, one out of 10. <laughs> well, they're one of a kind. But um, guys, let me tell you a little bit about the artist and man when I say this artist is I mean I just told Tina about him I just looked him up Whew. guys and he is insane yeah you know I to was him out. yeah I was on the <laughs> phone with them for a while you know I mean dude to get some of his stuff well you know what let me just show you some of this projects he's actually worked on um check him out How crazy is that, man? Talk about a portfolio. Mission Impossible, Rampage, Dora. The Boys, Dora. That is insane. Crazy. Terry, honestly, man, thank you for being a part of this giveaway. Dude, it is insane and we can't wait to collab more. And guys, just so you guys know, once this thing gets going, Terry promised that we were gonna get into a uh, Skype uh, face chat. So we're gonna record this so you, guys get to, so you guys can get to know him. But do me a big favor. You guys have to go follow him. His stuff's gonna be right here and right there. And also in the description down below, like I always say. <laughs> Again, Mark and Scott from Superior Shipping Supply, 
Music, Campfire Arts. I mean, dude, it doesn't get any better than this. Okay, now for the details on what's gonna happen with these giveaways. So, Superior Shipping Supplies, don't try to get away from it, girl. I know what you were trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. Trying to leave me hanging. So, what you guys have to do is make sure you guys go follow Campfire Arts, Superior Shipping Supplies, and then make sure you guys go check out Terry's stuff right there. It's right, right, right here. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. So, the key is we need to get Superior and Campfire Arts to 1,000. Once we hit that 1,000 on each Instagram, we are gonna start giving these away and like hotcakes. I mean, dude, there's 10 of them, so that is like hotcakes. I mean, they come They're in a second three. Fast. Yeah, they go very so fast. guys, do me a big favor. Man, get on there, please go follow, and then we're gonna start doing that giveaway. All right, <laughs> now to the snake part of this, because this is a snake channel. Yes. Did you just throw that face off? No, I was actually throwing it I think I did. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you some snakes that I got from Matt Byram before I get there. Let me show you some hatchings that we just got. All right, guys, time to check out some crazy stuff. Before we get there, big shout out to Rep the Chip. Boom, boom. That's me showing off the handle. All right, so this is a clutch that I just hatched yesterday and I put it up on my Facebook today. You guys are seeing this on Thursday, so, well, it was the past couple of days, but we had four eggs and this was an amazing, amazing pairing. For me to get these combos, man, I honestly was so freaking ecstatic about it. Before I show you individually which one, check out a picture of them right now. So let's start off with them. What I think they are. Remember, I'm still new to like, you know, doing all these morph things, but let me act like if I know what I'm really talking about. So, all right. So right here we have a, a snake and a very pretty one. No. So right here, I would say we have a mystic pinstripe leopard double hat clown pied. And the pairing was a leopard clown pied bred to a mystic GHI pinstripe. So this is number one right here. Beautiful snake, man. I'm telling you, the combos on these bad boys woo, are crazy. Okay, and next we have a leopard pinstripe double hat clown pied. Look at that one, man. That is amazing. And then these next two, man. These things are straight, like lumbre, man. So we have this one, and I believe this is a uh, Mystic Leopard GHI. Guys, uh, if you guys don't think that's what it is, uh, comment down below and tell me I'm a noob and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think that's what this is right here. Um, and it is double head uh, clown pied as well. Obviously, all of them are gonna be. This one's really, really pretty. And now the last one I'm gonna show you guys, the only reason I'm showing you guys because it has such a cool ringer. That's why I'm saving that one for the last, but I think overall that's probably the most powerful one out of all the combos. But this one right here, just because of the it just really got my attention and I got a lot of comments on it when I put it on Facebook. So right here we have a leopard GHI double head clown pie and look at that man is that not a ringer or what? That is insane. Dude comment down below guys let me know what you guys think. I mean seriously I'm making them things work over here. Not really but the snakes are. Okay that's clutch one. Let me show you the other one. All right this next one was a magma which is a red striped clown bred to a super pastel red striped yellow belly. So everything's gonna be pastel and everything's gonna be 100% head clown but we got some cool stuff out of here. All right so right here let's start off with the first one. Right here we have a pastel yellow belly 100% head clown. This thing's pretty man. And then we have this pastel red stripe. I think it might be possible yellow belly. 100% head clown. Let's see. I think these are two of them right here that are pretty much the same. I mean, guys, again, help me out, man. I'm not one to, you know, be embarrassed to say, you know, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Just act like if I do. You had some stuff and you can see this one's obviously pastel. has yellow belly in it. Um, these two, man, I mean, they look very similar. If one of them's a little different for sure, let me see. I would say it's probably this one. Maybe this one's yellow belly. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Last one is amazing. And it's definitely going to stay here. It's a female, but check this out right here guys this right here is a super red stripe pastel yellow belly heck clown that is crazy right it looked a lot brighter when it first came out but i'll do an update as soon as these guys shed but these things are amazing and we have other cool things hatching as well. We still have, I think, like eight uh, clutches in the incubator, right, Turtle? Yeah, just about. Yeah. So let me go show you guys the snakes that I got from Matt Byram. Again, I'm not doing an unboxing because I unboxed them already and it's put them back in. You, you guys know from last time. So let me go grab those snakes. So the first I'm going to show you is one that I really, really wanted. I saw it out at uh, Arlington when I was there last time, but he was trying to sell me a female. And this is one that I didn't want a female on because it would have taken me about two and a half years to grow up, or in my case, about a year and a half, and I would have bred it at 900 grams and her probably laid eggs around 1100 grams and gave me like four to seven eggs very young 47 four to seven oh. eggs you know very young so 
Yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> I'm just playing. So yeah, so I actually got a male. So check this out. This is the base form of the Zuwadi. And this is a Zuwadi 100% Heck Clown. Look at this, guys. That is so crazy. So this, again, is the base morph of the Zuwadi. Man, I am stocked up on Zuwadi. Matt Byron, seriously, man, thank you very much, dude. What do we have now? Like, seven Zuwadi stuff here now? Matt yeah. Byron, I love you, brother. Even though you're not that crazy about exotic. I mean, it was to be Matt Byron, ball pythons, or Matt Byron, horn snakes, Matt Byron. Just reptiles, I think, would be great. You need to kick the exotic part out of it just you know just throwing that out there all right so next i'm gonna show you guys this bad boy right here and right here we have a leopard zuwadi these things are so beautiful i wish you guys saw them man they're a lot more orange in person than you see on the camera but yeah so right here we have a leopard so we have the base morph uh, zuwadi a clown we have a leopard zuwadi and then next we have a leopard mojave zuwadi look at this see what mojave does see the difference and so again we have the base morph leopard and then we have mojave leopard zuwadi man this the cool thing about the Zuwadi G, man, is not only is it amazing, but there's not too much people working on it yet. I mean, I know there's a handful of them, and there's so much cool things that we're going to be able to get to see in the next couple of years. We're going to see them in Pied, we're going to see them in Puzzle, we're going to see them in Clown, we're going to see them in Desert Ghost, and trust me, I'm already working on that bad boy because that was super Zuwadi. going to get a little ahead of you guys, just so you guys know. No, I'm just playing. I'm actually just in a really, really good mood. And yeah, so, so that's it for right here. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. I'm not trying to sound cocky or arrogant. Um, It's confidence and happiness. I'm just gonna leave yeah. with my Zuwadi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for the vlog. Again, do me a big favor. Go follow Campfire Art. Go follow Superior Shipping Supply. Go fire Terry at all his awesome stuff. The guy's a great artist. And go check out Reptichip. And please do me a big favor and go follow Matt Byram at Matt Byram. All the handles are gonna be in the description down below, guys. But as always, guys, I appreciate all of the support. Till next time. Deuce.